The records are now open. Come on in, everybody. I've got to shout, so I talk over the triangle. If you have questions about your life, if there are places where you feel stuck, oh, goodness gracious. I didn't close my door tight enough and my dog just came in. Hi, Blue Radley. Hi, Blue Radley. All right, I'm gonna take Blue Radley out of here because this, truthfully, I'm gonna let you know a little secret about my set today, guys. This is like a matchstick set. If one thing bumps, the whole thing goes, could crash, 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 and falls over. And this dog right here, God bless you, you stinky mouth. He got bad breath. He, his tail will wag and knock my lights over, and the next thing I know, I'm gonna be crashing and burning in here. So I gotta take Bluey out. Please like and share this out while I'm, while I'm excusing myself to get my dog out of here. Come on, Bluey. Come on, baby. Out you go. Out you go. Okay, okay. He was a good boy. He listened. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Thank you guys so much. There, you got to meet my dog, Bluey. Um, Apollo came in on me the other day. My kitty bit me right in the face when I was doing live synchronized breathing. So if you got to join me for that and meet Apollo, today you get to meet another member of my fur baby family, Blue Radley. And I'm so excited to show up here to help you guys, to help you and your family, your loved ones, because you by you helping yourself, by you taking a look at the areas where you want to grow and expand, not only are you increasing the amount of joy that you're personally experiencing, but you're increasing the frequency of those around you. And it is a pleasure and an honor to use the Akashic Records to help us deepen our connections with our families, <clears throat> whether they're fur families, whether they are real life people. The idea of living a life of harmony and joy, I know appeals to you. I know that's why you're here today. So welcome. We are going to open up the Akashic Records and dive into live readings here today. For those of you guys who are new, I want you to say hello once you get here. I want you to say where you're from. And again, please share this out because there is somebody in your life who is going to benefit from this show today, even if your question does not get asked and answered today. If any information that comes in is speaking to you, if it resonates for you, I want you to accept that message as if it is for you. I want you to receive it. Because one of the amazing things about the Akashic Records is that not only can we get information from this realm, that's what it is, it's an information realm. It is a matrix of energy that contains every detail from past, present, all possible futures, infinite amount of information and possibility exists within the space so uh, it's important that you know how to how to navigate once you get into that space because there is so much energy uh, and so much knowledge and healing available but it is a spiritual technology it is a tool that every single person can learn how to use because we access it through higher states of consciousness and Consciousness is growing and expanding like wildfire right now. Why? Because people have issues in their life that they want to shift, that they, that they feel in their soul because it's a part of every single person's blueprint, that we have the ability to control, shift, heal, adjust, expand, whatever it is, manifest, create. We have this ability within our being, but we have to learn how to use our technology, which means learning how to use our breath, learning how to shift our consciousness, learning how to manage our own internal energy, all right? You can know all of this fan, fancy, fun, metaphysical knowledge from the cosmos, but if you don't know how to use it to control your own energy vibrational frequency, well, then I'm glad you're here because I'm going to help you all out today. There is a process of that we go from knowing the information. Actually, it starts from being curious about the information and then opening up to the possibility. And then we begin to like wrap our heads around and know it a little more deeply. Then we have to actually apply it to our lives. And not only does the Akashic Records bring us in really powerful knowledge, knowledge is expansion, right? Awareness, knowledge, light, enlightenment, all of this is uh, different ways to say expanding our perspective. And if you get stuck in certain areas of your life, which is why I'm glad you guys are uh, tuning in here today, those of you guys who are feeling stuck, 
when we expand our perspective and we can understand the situation from a different perspective, from that high space of the Akashic Records, which by the way, everything is recorded from a space of neutrality. So it's not from the same um, polar way that we experience it or the same um, ways that we put judgments on things or the ways that we tell stories or we tell them from our perspective, right? This is from God's perspective. This is true neutrality, which is unconditional love and zero judgment. Now, not only do we get knowledge from this space, but this energy frequency has its own consciousness as well, which means it has the ability to heal, to shift, to up-level, to bring new awarenesses into our, um, into our awareness, bring new awarenesses into our awareness, bring new ideas into our awareness. So the records have not only that ability to give information, but they can transform our energy field on a quantum level. And all you have to do to receive that energy is be, one, open to receive it, and two, show up with the intention of your highest good and the highest good of everyone connected to you. You also have to assume responsibility for situations. You can't go into the records and ask why somebody else is such a dumbass. You just can't. You have to say, why do I attract so many dumbasses into my life? You have to own it like that, okay? So that's how it works. Every single person who is here is going to get an energy transmission from the records. So I'm gonna take questions, live questions, and if you guys have questions, you guys can go ahead and start typing in your questions. I'm going to tune in here on my phone so I don't have to get so close to my computer. So I can allow spirit to bring my attention and my awareness to a question for today. Actually, we're going to do probably about three questions. If I can get into it fast enough here, 1208 already. We're going to do about three questions. But we're going to bring through an energy healing shift transmission upgrade that has to do with the topic at hand for every single question. So you are going to get to receive at least three energy upgrades from the space of the Akashic Records today regardless of whether or not your question was answered. Um, oh, I just remembered something too. Sorry I have to keep, sorry I have to keep jumping out of my frame here. I had to get my water, I had to go get it. I was rushing to come on live here, that's why I didn't get my door closed tight enough, and that's why my doggy busted in, but Coach Nick, my partner over at the Akashi Academy, shared a huge piece of exciting news, and I was all posing, actually, I was like posing like Hulk Hogan in my office, and then I looked, I'm like, oh, I gotta go, I gotta go. So I just remembered as well, I did say we were gonna do a free giveaway in this show right here. Well, this is where you win the show, or this is where you win the giveaway. This is how you win the giveaway. Hang on, take two. We're gonna do a giveaway, this is how you win it. I'm going to invite you guys to take a screenshot of this show. All right, at any point in this show, I want you to post the picture, the screenshot, okay? I want you to please copy the link of the show and go ahead and tag me in it. The person who has, and I'm gonna be the judge, actually, I might let one of my kids be the judge. The person who has the funniest screenshot of my face in a weird contorted position or me doing something silly on here. The funniest picture is going to win a free 30 minute session with me. I, we can record that on Zoom for you as well so you can go back and review it. Because in my private sessions, there is so much knowledge and healing that comes in. It can be difficult to absorb it all in one, in, in one sitting. So I always record for my clients and really encourage them to go back and review the session a week or two later because it's like having a whole other session. There's all, whole nother layer of insight that comes in. So that's how you win the free 30 minute session. You gotta take a screenshot, you gotta post it, share my video, and uh, make sure you tag me in it. And, and things don't show up on my timeline, by the way, so tag me once, and then I'll go to my timeline and I'll share it. Um, some people tag me sometimes, and then they don't see it show up on my timeline, so they do it again, and then they do it again, and then they do it again. You only have to do it once, and you won't see it, so you just gonna have to trust that it's there, okay? All right, diving in. With no further ado, let's start answering some questions here. There's a whole other session or something. 
Got to make myself be quiet. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you for bearing with me. Okay, Roxanne Michelle, I keep getting stuck with finances. Can you please tell me why? It's like a roller coaster. Girl, I hear you. I was like a damn accordion for a long time. Oh my gosh, I just gave you guys an, an incredible opportunity for some screenshots there. Didn't even realize I was doing that. Uh, I'm, if I never run this promotion again, this freebie giveaway, you'll know why, because I probably will end up looking a little silly. All right. How many of you guys out there can relate to accordion finances, roller coaster finances? Um, I know that that is probably just as big of an issue for some of you guys out there as being stuck with no finances, not having nearly enough abundance around you. The biggest thing to recognize is that energy is everywhere money is just energy and it is a it is a reflection of how much we are willing to give ourselves or allow ourselves to have um, it's it's generally tied into how much freedom we're willing to experience and a lot of what we are experiencing in terms of a collective with our finances I said you can't blame other people when you come into the Akashic Records, but all <laughs> we're, we're so stuck. We're so stuck in a system where we've been really, really lied to, you guys. There's a documentary that I'm going to recommend for every single person out there. It's on Netflix, and it's called um, Unacknowledged. Dr. Stephen Greer talks about it. The first part is all about extraterrestrials, and the second part is why would the government suppress this knowledge if they know about extraterrestrials? And it's because of the technology that is possessed and understood how to use and implement in a society would give us free energy. And this entire society, and Dr. Stephen Greer breaks it down really beautifully, is completely economized based on the fact that we pay for energy. So one... <laughs> JP Morgan's in on it, the banks are in on it, the governments are in on it. This is why, uh, this is the disclosure that a lot of people are talking about and holding space for that breakdown of the traditional economic system, government system. Those of you guys who are working on that part of what we're doing here on the planet, good for you. Thank you for doing the work. I'm, uh, I'm more in Pollyanna land over here just to, just to helping people and create in a way. So... I just wanted to share that to say that a lot of the aspects of why we're stuck in our finances have to do with ways that we've been programmed. Because when you have to pay to keep the lights on, you have to pay for energy. Um, and it's not just paying to keep your lights on and electricity, by the way. The, the major bottom line component that allows the society to continue to expand is our energy resources and how we use our energy resources from you know, shipping things across the country to the energy that it requires to turn the machines on, to use them, the harvesting of the wood or the, the raw materials. Energy, it, we're paying for something, de dearly paying for something that is damn free. <clears throat> now, we are experiencing on this planet, because it's a zone of creation, we are experiencing things in our reality on a collective that are reflective of our own consciousness. So while this is still a, a global problem and a global issue, you still have con more control over your own personal sovereignty and your own personal experience. And this is something that I'm learning how to, uh, how to do more in my own energy field. Um, for a long time, I could only hold so much finance. I could only hold making so much money a month. And even if I made more than that amount of money, then it would drain out someplace unexpectedly. And that ceiling, that plateau, that was my, that was my, as far as I could go. Okay. I also had fear. Because of my experience in Hollywood and the way acting jobs would work, I would get an acting job and I would make a lot of good, a good amount of money for that week. Let's just say that. And then I wouldn't work again for months at a time. And then I would book a movie and I'd work for 10 weeks solid. I'd be getting paid a good paycheck for 10 weeks and then not nothing. So every time I stepped into a higher, I just call it a higher tax bracket. 
but you guys know what I mean. I stepped into a, a more expansive aspect of my own abundance. I was freaked out that I was going to lose it, and so I would. And I recreated that pattern throughout uh, until, until I became aware enough of it to say, okay, I got this thing recurring. I got to shift this. I go about shifting everything on an energetic level. And the really important thing about money is that when – we, we can try too hard as well. So when we go in to try to do those manifesting exercises, and those, look, at, look how tight my fists are right now, I'm holding my, my wand so damn tight, we want to shift it so bad, and we feel like we have the knowledge, and we should be able to shift this so bad. But the key is ease, and the key is relaxing, and the key is trusting. And there are a lot of different ways that we can open and step into abundance. I want to... That's my two cents about it, is that level of making sure that any stress around finances, you are sucking out of the energy field. you got to get rid of that, and you have to choose to stay in a space of peace and neutrality, even if you could create a story justifying why you should be really upset about your finances. Okay? you got to stay in that space of ease. Also, I want to share Brad Johnson, the very first episode that he did here for the Akashic Academy Network was about accessing the theta mind, going into that God mind, that higher state, and creating from that space. And I've used that specific meditation that Brad shared um, to increase my finances. And, and I think he talks about it. I am infinite financial abundance in that. So you, if you go to the top of this page, you can go to playlists and you can find that show, The Expansion Point, and watch, check out Brad Johnson's very first episode of The Expansion Point. Okay, I'm going to bring through, I'll just slob it on myself a bit. I'm going to bring through some energy right now to um, allow you to be at ease with your finances, okay? Giving yourself permission to be at ease. I'm going to bring it in with sound, okay? So just opening to receive this energy. I want you to feel an ease. Feel it moving down from a source space, space of the Akash. I want you to feel it moving into your light body. Just feel it melting down your entire body, receiving that energy of ease and flow. Moving it on down, out your feet. And then grounding it into Mother Earth. And setting an intention right now, this, this frequency of ease that you have tuned into and created in this moment is an instant manifestation portal that we are connecting to our financial ease and flow right now in this moment. Also giving ourselves the ability to return to this moment, remembering this frequency, being able to pull it up and implement it anytime we recognize that we are in stress about our finances. So be it in so it is. Yeah, that was a good one. Okay. All right, rock and roll. Let's uh, get to another question here. Okay. <laughs> Princess Jules said she posted and tagged me in five screenshots today already. <laughs> awesome. All right, Rhonda says, any help regarding my gifts? That would be appreciated. Rhonda Turlington McIntyre. This is always, usually someone asks about their gifts. I love this one because it's so, it's a no-brainer to bring in a transmission that opens you all to your dynamic gifts. Um, but for you, my dear Rhonda, I'm going to tune in and um, just get you some more dynamic information, okay, about what your specific gifts are. Okay, so they're showing me, um, and this is the name that I've put on this gift or job. I call it the dream weaver. So you have a really strong ability to create in the dream state. Um, so I don't know if you tend to have very visual dreams or very active dreams. I personally do not have a lot of dreams, but 
I do recognize that I do a lot of work in my dream time. And I work with clients who have a lot of really specific and vivid dreams. So those people who can really, really remember their dreams and have very, very specific dreams, many times um, there are really cool aspects of our dreams that we, when they're vivid like that, that we learn, cool information that we get, especially if you keep a dream journal and you write it down. And many times things that you learn in, in dreams will weave themselves together or will make more sense in your life as life continues to play out. But I'm also finding that there's another aspect to this gift where you can really control your own energy expansion, your own growth, your own learning process in your dreams. So many of us are, um, in the way that we experience it, it feels like the dreams are just happening to us. We don't feel like we necessarily have a lot of control over the dreams. But you can, and it's and again, it's, a, it's, a, it's learning to master your own internal energy and frequency and be in a state where you understand how to control the energy in that space. Now, the best way I can tell you to do it is just to start getting in there, planning and practice with it. Ask. Start working with it. Ask for a being or a guide to come in for you to work with you in that space. Ask for it before you go to sleep at night. Um, create that space on your nightstand that, you know, use crystals, use thing, different things that support um, astral travel and helpful guides to come to you. And to keep a journal about what it is that's going on. Now, I also feel a strong connection for you, Rhonda, to being um, a creator in, remember how I talked about the Brad Johnson? The Brad Johnson and the Theta State. So theta waves are a certain type of brain wave. So we've got thetas, gammas, deltas, alphas. And I don't think that I said them in the right order, so don't bust me on that, okay? The theta waves are the waves that we're use, using during dream time. And the cool thing about theta waves and about when we access the theta mind is that the, those waves, those frequencies naturally do not recognize limitation. So that's why you can take off and fly in your dreams and have all of these amazing experiences, right? You can also access the theta mind in your present state, which again, Brad's uh, video uh, shows you and takes you through the process of how to do this. But I see you being really effective in that realm as well, that being one of your really, really strong gifts is being a manifester. Um, Roxanne says, LOL, and she gave me a heart. And I didn't see the rest of it. Um, but uh, I'm glad that you're hearting and like, I'm trying to see the rest of it. I'll go back in and check in with the rest of it. So let's bring through a transmission right now to open everybody to your divine gifts. Um, oh, also, Roxanne, with, I'm sorry, not Roxanne, uh, Rhonda, with that also comes, um, with that, with, with vivid dreamers also comes powerful clairvoyance. So clairvoyance is another one of your strong suits in terms of the clairs, okay? All right, so I'm going to keep using my triangle today. This is a powerful very powerful crystalline triangle here. And anybody who would like to receive an opening in their spiritual gifts and abilities, I just invite you to receive. I want to invite you to receive this into your heart space specifically. And in order to receive to the maximum, you just want to be very relaxed. You want your body relaxed, your mind relaxed, soft mind, soft thoughts, opening to receive. Those of you guys who are asking for readings, this works by asking particular questions. So go ahead and type in whatever your question is. Okay, uh, I just I was just internally in my internal dialogue. I was scolding myself for talking over the the ding, and Spirit just said, you know what? Don't do that because what you said, typing your question, actually has a powerful relevance that they want me to communicate. And that is, if you want your spiritual gifts to expand, you've got to ask for it, okay? So, you can say, I want to tap into my gifts and skills and abilities. Um, but sometimes there is there are subconscious things that might hold you back from being fully ready to receive that. So, when you go in and ask with that intention, it opens up more space, all right? Ask and it is given, all right? So, please open up my spiritual gifts. You guys ask for it, here it comes. Receiving and just knowing that that uh, energy frequency, that vibrational sound that you're hearing is shifting your, every molecule inside of your being right now. 
to a state of open and receptiveness. And uh, goodness gracious, Rhonda, since this is your question coming in, I was like, somebody out there is really open and getting a big, big one. Rhonda, thank you for holding that space. Um, they are confirming that is that is your energy frequency. That is your blueprint that is so open-minded and ready to grow and expand. And so I humbly honor and thank you for asking that question because your energy frequency, as we are a synergistic collective here, is holding that portal open in a very dynamic way. So everybody, give Rhonda a hand. Thank you, Rhonda. All right, we're gonna do one more. Okay, Terry says, uh, Emily, when I tune in and receive information for, for people, is that coming from the Akash, the universal consciousness? Is it coming from the universal consciousness or the Akash, or are they the same? Great, great question. Um, with, without knowing exactly how you go about doing your process, Terry, I'm going to just share with you what's coming up. So first of all, God bless you for uh, doing, opening yourself and using your gifts and skills and abilities to help people around you. This is my understanding of the different uh, ways that we can read the energy or where it's coming from. And I have to talk fast because I only got three minutes left and we still got to do an activation. And I got to plug Rhonda. Okay, so this is Rhonda's plug. Robin McClendon coming up after this conversations with Gaia. Stay tuned starting right after my show. Here's where the energy comes from, or the different places the energy can come from, okay? Um, our subconscious minds can be read. When we do not have a level of awareness that we're constantly sending and receiving messages anyway, a lot of times information comes from the denser aspects of us, and the subconscious mind is one of the denser places where we house energy. So people who aren't necessarily doing readings, I'm just talking about if you're going through your natural life and you're in a bad mood, you can be sending and receiving messages between your subconscious mind and anyone else's around you who is vibrating that frequency of piss offiness that you're at. So you really want to be aware and, and hold yourself to a high accountability of keeping your vibrational frequency high because that will determine uh, where you're tuning in and getting access. As well, if you don't have an intention, okay? So your default frequency determines where you tune in if you haven't set an intention. The Akashic Records is um, unconditional love, zero judgment, totally 100% of the light and the expansion. So that is the space that I set an intention to tune into. It's a space where I have a familiarity, a relationship. I know how it works. I trust the space. That's where I go. Okay. You can also set an intention to tune into source energy. My girl Amanda Marie does that, and I can tell you, our processes, which was each given to us by whoever, looks very much the same. So in that regard, I would definitely say there are aspects of source, the Akashic Records, the ether, the universal consciousness, that is all the same. And there are aspects of our subconscious mind that can hold that high-level information, but it doesn't hold all that high-level information. So if you want the highest level of information possible, you want to make sure that you're directing your energy into, um, like, tuning your dial to those frequencies. I think it matters the most, to answer your question, um, Terry, how you phrase the question because, or, or what intention the vibrational frequency is holding. Because whatever information that you get back matches that vibrational frequency. So I really believe that it becomes part of our job as readers and healers for others to continue to learn how to get better at asking just the right questions for people that gets the right information from them. I also think that you can read the aura of somebody. And I think that when, um, for me, a more traditional psychic reading, like where you would walk into a reader off, like maybe even walking off the street or maybe make a appointment, I don't know. You walk in, you sit down, oh crap, I gotta go. Um, and you know, they're like doing cards, whatever. they're reading your energy field that moment. So that also contains a certain set of information that may or may not include all of the information that is available. So you wanna make sure that you intend to tune in to the highest level of information possible. And right now, I just want to do a one final quick attunement for everybody. I want to um, 
unclog any aspect of your energy frequency that believes you do not have the power to do this for yourself or, or other people in your life because truthfully this is one of the multidimensional qualities that we possess as human beings so on a final transmission today i want to unclog release and open up the channels for all of you guys to connect with the highest levels of intuition and guidance available to you bringing that through right now thank you terry Namaste, everybody. And again, this is this is a skill, reading the Akashic Records, that every single person can learn to do. And if you're interested in learning more about how to do this for yourself or for others, please reach out to me because I want to make a time to chat with you. And I look forward to seeing all your funny pictures. I'm sorry, Robin, now I'm hanging up. Bye, everybody. Have a great rest of your day.